In this video, I'm going to show you how to add Tailwind elements using NPM. So um, in order to start, we uh, have to have node installed and we assume that we have Tailwind uh, element projects created. If not, let's create it from scratch. So I'm going to open this uh, guide from Tailwind CSS and we're going to do it step by step. So I'm starting with the empty folder. Uh, so you can just create any folder and then I'm going to open this in Visual Studio Code. And uh, once we have it, let's open the terminal. Let me make it bigger for you. And now let's do npm init. This is going to initialize our project. I'm going to accept all the default values. And now let's get back to our installation um, steps. So first, let's install npm tilewind. So I'm going to do it here. Uh, Maybe let me show you this in a bigger screen. So we are installing um, Tailwind that has been installed. Once we have it installed, we can um, initialize our project with the command npx Tailwind CSS init. And this will create the Tailwind config.js file. Now we should update our config file, which you can find over here with the settings. Uh, and that's what you usually do, but I'm going to skip it now because we're going to um, use the settings from Tailwind elements here. Uh, now we have to create a file. So I'm going to create a new folder first. I'm going to call it source and we're going to create another file inside it called input CSS. Within this file, we are adding this three basic Tailwind parts, base components and utilities. And now we could compile this to the output CSS. Uh, we're going to skip it for now because we will compile this once we add Tailwind elements. So now let's uh, continue to the step number five. Let's create a new file index.html. Uh, and here we're going to copy paste the sample from Tailwind elements. So this is basically a sample uh, HTML page with the CSS linked. We don't have this file yet. We're going to have it created once we run this command. So this is a very basic setup for the Tailwind CSS. Now let's add the Tailwind element. So we have existing project. If you have existing project, now you can uh, start from this step. Uh, so npm install tw elements that's going to install Tailwind elements. Now, once we have it, let's update the configuration. I'm going to just copy paste the existing one. But if you have something here already, you don't want to screw it. You don't want to mess it up. So then just make sure to add this, uh, this require line in plugins and also to update this accordingly, especially this part. This is node modules TW elements because this is also uh, in the typical Tailwind uh, project, but obviously this may vary depending on your project. Um, okay, so we have it now here. Uh, now we can do uh, one step back and we can uh, just compile our file. So I'm going to uh, use this command, which you can find in the getting started. And this will create our dist folder. And within this, we have the output CSS. And you're going to see that there are also the um, Tailwind elements classes. Uh, if they are not there, like in my case, there's just 400 uh, lines over here. Just make sure that you saved all the files and then run it again. So now we can see that the file is longer and it has uh, many more lines. It's around 4000, I believe. And there are some classes which weren't there. So now we know that this has been compiled successfully. So now the last step we have to do is actually to add the dependencies. So we already have within our index.html our output CSS linked. Now let's add the JS, so the part which is missing in the Tailwind and which is coming with Tailwind elements. So let's add it here. So script, we need to update path. In our case, it's going to be dash node underscore modules and then TW elements this JS. Mm, and let's uh, now try to use some components. So let's go to the carousel, which uses JavaScript. So show code, copy, paste it over here. And let's open this with a live server and 
let's see how does it work if this doesn't work for some reason then you might need to uh, remove this output file regenerate it and then it should work like a charm like here so now our carousel is working fine the reason sometimes it doesn't work is because uh, this compilator along with the live server with an uh, within the um, Visual Studio code, they are trying to lock the same file, this output CSS, and as a result, this might uh, glitch a little bit. Uh, but once you've done that, it should be working fine. So if something doesn't work, just make sure to uh, remove this manually. This should be cleared out automatically, but as you can see, sometimes I'm working on a Windows 11, so that could be also the reason, as this is quite new operating system, uh, but that should be fine for you.